This is our musical stick. Uh, so we have eight buttons on top, a ribbon sensor, an accelerometer mounted right over here. And these, eight, these four buttons take care of our um, channel that we're using, which you can see here, and our octave value, which we can see here. First one controls channel up, channel down, and octave up, octave down. <laughs> These three keys will start playing random notes at different scales. All stop, and then major scale, minor scale, and pentatonic scale. And we can change the speed at which these notes go by rotating the stick, and then by moving the stick this way, we can turn up the volume. That's actually the note velocity. Yeah. The ribbon cable will affect the mod wheel, which is dependent upon the channel. I can get it to work in this area, and mainly that little area right there. And then this affects our pitch bend. to make it as interactive as possible. Um, initially some of these things were to kind of help us troubleshoot and get, find out the best zones for things, but now after we have all those uh, figured out we can adjust them to modify things on the fly. This patch is called Right Hand Land. This is all of our button, or our, uh, our scales, and then we also have the top switch. So um, it's just looking for a note and it's uh, pulling from a bank adding to our root note, being scaled by our octave, which comes from the uh, left hand land over here. And then in our continuous controller land, we have um, our two axes of the accelerometer, our ribbon sensor uh, zones. And it's just taking all the information that we put in here to scale it uh, across our minimum to our maximum. And then uh, we have a couple if statements just to make sure it doesn't get out of hand if we didn't anticipate uh, the maximum correctly. The reason we have a pretty simple setup here, we have three subtractor patches, each with a different synth sound loaded, um, each one on responding to a different channel, one through three, um, and all of those goes into, go into a mixing board uh, so we can have a little further control if we want over the different volumes. Right, we could probably demonstrate the level change when you switch channels. See, so yeah, that one's up now, and if you switch, and that one's on and the other's off, and that right. one's on. And if we actually don't kill the note, we get a cool effect by actually leaving it hanging and then we can modify it, you know, with the pitch bend and the mod wheel. Or leave the stuck note as a drone over the others was a thing we were using it as too, to take advantage of the One thing that we, we wanted to do if we had had more time was uh, if we wield it like a sword, I can have like a lightsaber patch going through and have that with the accelerometer, and, and, but we didn't have any time to do it. So.